everyone welcome to a new sewing video now if these go up in order of filming and you've seen my last one which was the the red ball gown or, or alternative wedding dress then you'll know that i'm currently working with a broken vlogging camera i can't see myself in the flip up screen so i hope i'm in focus i hope i'm in about the right place so please forgive this video if there's some awkward angles i'm not quite in shot or things aren't quite in focus hopefully this is all right for a beginning so anyway let's get on with the video <laughs> so for this one although most of my dresses can be used as wedding dresses this one is going to be a little bit more with that in mind so i'm actually starting with a vintage wedding dress that i have tea ooh, that i have tea stained and washed again obviously and have got this beautiful full of lace wedding dress here and this is what I'm going to get started with because I'm going to reuse the zip the zip seems to be working absolutely fine and I will be using probably all of this lace I will be however starting with some pure silk as the lining oh no my mind started wandering into fabrics I'm going to use and I've completely lost my train of thought um, <laughs> what was I saying? Anyway, th so I'm going to go with a steampunk theme. If you're not sure what steampunk is, it's a genre that came about mainly from literary, from fiction, which is sort of like an alternative Victorian sort of world quite often where the use of steam is developed rather than electricity. That doesn't really explain the style, but it's very much become a fashion as well as a literary genre. And you often get lots of Victorian theme clothing. I would say lots of frills, lace, and the colors tend to be quite neutral, sort of beiges, creams, browns. So those are the colors I'm gonna be using but whilst also giving it a wedding dress feel. So yeah, like I said, I'm gonna be using this one. I'm gonna be using the zip, but I would like this dress to be um, like the last one, to be an example of a dress you can have made to order to your own measurements for your wedding. So if you're watching this and you're interested in getting one made for you, then I will be using pure silk for the lining ordinarily. But, see this is why I lost my train of thought, I've just realised I have just run out of the pure, my roll of pure silk. So I'm going to be looking around my stash to see if I can do this one with pure silk. Because I would rather that than use this old nylon, which I think it, it is. That's not going to be very comfortable against the skin. So I'm going to be, for this, <laughs> oh god, I keep rambling. So... For this one, I don't yet know what I'm using for the lining. I've just seen a little bit up here that I used in my natural dyeing one. So this is beautiful. If I don't use this as lining, I will probably incorporate this because the colours are perfect. I might incorporate this silk into the dress. So yeah, the dress will be made from scratch. I'll just be cutting out the zip and then utilise the other fabrics elsewhere amongst the dress. I might still use the nylon. It won't be for the bodice lining. I might use it a bit in the skirt layers to bring out the fullness and the sort of fairy tale feel still. We'll see how we go. And the only other item that I've got ready so far is this bridesmaid dress that I think my daughter bought from a British home store sale because she just wanted it for dressing up. Obviously she has grown out of this now. And again, this is pure silk and this lovely fabric here. I might incorporate that into it as well. Oh, I could use this for the lining. I might use this for some of the lining. This is a nice silk. So I'll use the silk lining out of here. Yeah, th that's much nicer. And this is pure silk. I've got some net I can reuse. And this lining here is probably a polyester or viscose, uh, poly viscose blend, I would think. I can use that too. So. That's going to be a good uh, sort of donor dress. And apart from that, I have not yet had time today to gather much of a stash. I do have some ivory net up there on my shelf. I will probably be using that and I will probably be just delving into my stashes of uh, bigger pieces of fabric for this one. And also I've got more vintage dress, wedding dresses um, upstairs in my other fabric room. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, so I will of course show you what I use as I go along and without further ado let's get cracking on this video okay 
Okay, I've also found some a large piece of really soft white cotton and a silk scarf and I'm going to use these to help build up the lining to the bodice along with that little bit of silk from the kids dress. Okay, we've got the shape of the lining all ready now and so this is the fun bit this is my favorite bit I can dive into my stash of old vintage laces and also I have found some more bits and pieces there I shall have a look at and also I found a bag that I've um, pre-dyed most of this is naturally dyed actually with plants from my garden but I think some of this is just tea stained um yeah that one's a tea stained bit so i'll see if there's any fabrics in here that will be right for this project as well i think i'll definitely use this i like i like a bit of muslin right just before i carry on with the lace i added pockets before i forget i keep forgetting to add pockets so yeah that's the problem in the clothing industry they keep forgetting to add pockets so i shall do it now and then they'll obviously get hidden amongst all the frills and ruffles a bit later to cut off the label of this really old vintage bit of lace and I'm really nervous about it. I'm really nervous it will go onto the bodice here. I'm about to cut off the label of this... fabrics we've got this 
lace here which is this lovely golden toned beige i'm not sure that's coming out on camera but it looks really nice and then we've got a couple of bridal fabrics let me get close so you can see the pattern in it this is a gorgeous crepe with this embroidery running through it it's lovely and we have this satin here too which is really pretty so i'm going to be using them i would say the dress is almost halfway we're getting there with all the layers but this takes a lot longer sewing on these layers than i thought it would but um yeah so i've got the whole of the back to do yet but i'm really enjoying it I have to apologize because I haven't done any filming for the last five hours or so of the sewing of this dress um, the reason being is the day after tomorrow we are going to Venice for the photo shoot for this dress here's the back and it's my daughter's 21st birthday tomorrow so my focus could be on that tomorrow I was really really just sewing non-stop today trying to get this finished I haven't quite done it I am nearly there I'm close but I have found a spot underneath at the very bottom that I've accidentally sewn up so I'm gonna have to unpick where is it it's about here I'm gonna have to unpick this little bit it's not much luckily just a couple of inches and re-sew that and oh I just sort of look over it really there's there's a gap here I need to fill with some fabric and oh gosh it's quite heavy oh, a bit of a, a gap here then I, I think I am actually quite maybe closer than I think I do want to do quite a bit more work on the neckline I haven't decided yet whether I'm going to do some more bits on the waist yeah I, I, I want to do some hand stitching add some pearls and some cool little embellishments so yeah that's gonna have to be tomorrow because it is well past bedtime and I'm getting very tired so hopefully I can show you the finished thing tomorrow in daylight because at the moment these colors aren't quite accurate okay I'll say good night for now parlo poco italiano parlo poco italiano the word for the beginning I have no idea whether I'm properly in shot here and what mess around the room you can see so I'm sorry if it's all looking a bit haphazard in here like I said earlier I have been really rushing to get this done so nothing in this house has got tidied up for the last week well for the last two weeks actually because the red dress that was my previous sewing video that's also coming with us to Venice we are leaving in two and a half hours so I just did it last minute last night I was sewing these on and today I'm obviously packing and this is about to go and be put in the suitcase and I'm oh I, I, I really hope that we managed to get some good photos in Venice because I have to say I think this is probably one of the dresses if not the dress I'm most proud of I have to say it's probably taken me longer than any other dress surprisingly so because I naively thought the design was going to be a little easier than my usual ones because I've got more horizontal frills rather than more long layers if that makes sense which is what my other dresses usually have that they have the longer layers but actually it just took me so much longer to pin on so many more ruffles and frills and apart from the lace all the other fabrics are edged in 
in lace or fringing so that took extra time but yeah it is one I'm proud of. So this will be definitely an example of a dress that you can order to your size and your measurements. I've got quite a stash of vintage vintage wedding dresses and also I've been buying some new bridal lace. There was a bridal shop closing down that I found nearby and I bought some of her lace. So I'm building up a stash now of more wedding-y things. Yeah, I, I'm really excited to show you this one. I hope you like it. If you do, please give this video a thumbs up. If you're new here, please hit subscribe and the bell notification button below. And if you have friends you think might like this channel, I'd really appreciate it if you shared the link with them. Particularly if you know someone about to get married and think we'd like a dress like this. I've just added pearls and little buttons to the top here. I, I do have more more steampunk orientated embellishments little cogs and things like that so i could replace those with them if they're more full into the steampunk theme i'll put the link below to the listing on my etsy shop threads of a fairy tale so you can go and check out the photos that we do take or if you're interested in purchasing this dress then uh, that's where you need to go and have a look oh i've just seen another thread i thought i'd gone over all the threads <laughs> there's always another thread <laughs> I'll have to get the pair of scissors onto them. Anyway, thank you for watching and I'll see you again next time. Bye.